Hello everyone, and welcome to this video on embedding a Bold BI dashboard in an ASP.NET Core application. To learn how to install and deploy a Bold BI server for creating dashboards, please check the documentation and video mentioned in this video's description. I've already installed the Bold BI server and created a dashboard. I'm going to integrate the dashboard into the ASP.NET Core application using Bold BI Embedded SDK which is a native client-side JavaScript component. You just need to add a script along with a Bold BI instance to integrate dashboards into your application securely. I will now show you how to integrate the Supply Chain Performance Dashboard into the ASP.NET Core application in a detailed manner. Let me open Microsoft Visual Studio and create a new project. I choose the ASP.NET Core web application, enter the project name, and click OK. Next, I choose the Web Application Model View Controller template from the Project Template window and click OK. Now, the ASP.NET Core application is created. First, I will create a class named Embedded Properties under Models and add the required variables. Here, root URL is a dashboard server URL, and you can get it from the Bold BI server. For example, set URL like this for enterprise, and set URL like this for cloud. Site identifier should be set for enterprise, and empty string for cloud. I then set the environment here. User email is the email ID of the Bold BI server that authorizes the ASP.NET Core application. To authorize the Bold BI server, I have to create an authorization server. I will explain that later in this video. Next, I have to set the embed secret for authentication. I get the embed secret from the Bold BI server. I navigate to the settings icon on the left navigation bar and click Embed tab. Enable the option Enable Embedded Authentication and click here to generate the embedded secret. On clicking the button, a secret code will be generated. I save the secret key as it cannot be retrieved again. If it is not saved, it has to be generated again using the reset secret option. I paste the saved secret key into the application. Next, I will create a class named embed class under models and add the required properties. you need to implement an authorization endpoint in your application. This will act as the bridge between your application and the Bold BI server. Next, I have to create an authorization server used to authenticate this application with the Bold BI server by sending the user email, group details, and embedded signature. Let me add the code to create an authorization server. Here, I have set the user email and embedded signature, which was already set in the Embed Properties class, to be used for validation. To know more about Authorization Server, you can check the documentation where I have mentioned the link in this video's description. Next, I create the fronted HTML file under Views called index.cshtml file and add an empty HTML code structure. Then, I add the required scripts in the head tag and create variables that were already defined in the Embed Properties class. Next, in the body tag, I create a div tag and set ID attribute with a name. Here, I set the names as dashboard. Next, I set onload event by declaring the render dashboard function. Let me now create an index.js file under the root folder to define the render dashboard method for creating a Bold BI instance and embed the dashboard. I add the code to the JavaScript function with the Bold BI instance to load the dashboard. Here, root URL and site identifier are already defined in the embed properties. You can get the dashboard ID from the dashboard URL. 
available in the Bold BI server. Now, copy and paste the dashboard ID into the application. Now embed container ID is set as dashboard, which was already declared in the HTML inside div tag. Set embed type, environment, expiration time, and authorization server URL. I have already defined the authorization URL in home controller and declared it inside the HTML code. Let me add CSS style in site.css. Now I run the application to see the embed dashboard in the browser. Finally, the dashboard created in Bold BI Server is embedded into the ASP.NET Core application. In this video, I have shown you how to embed Bold BI Dashboard into an ASP.NET Core application. You can get the code for this ASP.NET Core sample from the documentation link in this video's description. You can also request custom samples from the Bold BI site and by clicking the profile icon here. It will redirect you to the accounts page. Here, you can manage your account, download sample code, and request a custom sample. Please leave a comment for any clarification or additional features you would like to see in Bold BI. Thanks for watching.